Welcome back, this is the Amage Jack, and today we got uh, Commando Kikiri Forest Hell on Earth. It's first run of the day, first run of the week. I did just do half of the first wave, um, and then I realized that I was recording it wrong and I had to redo it. Anyway, in the last, uh, last week, I talked about wanting to set up that script that would go through all of my videos and uh, make the, the thumbnails and upload it for me. Well, I've got, got good news for me and pretty uh, neutral news for you, I suppose, really. But, nevertheless, okay, this is, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed here, okay? Mildly overwhelmed. Mildly overwhelmed. Uh, so I got good news for me, pretty neutral news for y'all. I did manage to make it, except it doesn't upload to YouTube yet. So I, I make, I record to the, the OBS directory, the OBS recording directory, which is where all of the raw footage that I record goes. Goes into a Killing Floor 2 folder in the, uh, the killing, in the OBS directory. And then, the bot that I wrote, it moves it from that folder over to my YouTube directory. So this is the videos that I'm satisfied with and um, that are actually gonna get uploaded. So that folder, I just copied the whole thing and uploaded all to uh, to YouTube, right? So, um, goodness, I am just tilted right now, eh? If we get a win out of this one, I'll be, I'll be mad surprised. Anyway, it moves them all over to the OBS, or it moves them all from the OBS directory to the YouTube directory. I like to keep them there for archival purposes. Uh, maybe a couple of episodes, maybe a couple of weeks, uh, and then I have to delete them because the episode files are just too big. But, you know, maybe maybe I want to go back and get a clip from one of them or something, right? Give myself a couple of weeks of leeway there. So it moves them over there for archival purposes. Then it goes through the video, and it'll search for two frames. Okay, the first frame is in the trader menu when it has the perk at the top left. So it searches for... Uh, I'll show you here. It searches for this little thing right here, which is... Um, always opaque, right? So that's that's always there, always like that. And then it can grab this whole bit right here where the commando is, right? Just make sure I don't mouse over it because it might accidentally, you know? Um, so that's really, really cool. And it does it and it works great and I love it. And the other one is it waits, it goes until the, uh, it finds a death screen or a wind screen, usually a death screen these days. Uh, and then it can grab the, um, the map from there and then we OCR it, set up all the perk, um, set up the images, do all that kind of stuff and it works out wonderfully. I'm really really liking it. Anyway, the moral of the story is I have to put in less work to make these videos and that means that I'm having a much better time making them, honestly. Because that was, that was one of the things that I just didn't like is how much work it was doing the things I didn't like, right? Because I don't like making thumbnails and moving the videos and all this, but it's part of the part of the process, right? So it's got to be done if I want to stop it. If I want to make the videos, if I want to upload them, if I want to have this dopamine kick, you know? Then I, I have to unfortunately do it. Except not really because now I have a, a script that does it for me instead. Which is way, way nicer. We're just going to launch a rocket at you. That didn't kill you. My goodness. Okay, I think I've uh, I think I might have untilted at this point. Possibly. I'm not I'm not making any promises here. But I'm uh, I'm doing a little bit better now. Okay. We're doing acceptably. We are performing not admirably, but acceptably. So what else happened this week for me? I made the script. That was like last week. It doesn't upload to YouTube yet. It's uh, currently at the point where it just makes the thumbnails and moves it over. I might work on making it upload to uh, to YouTube. Oh, come on, please. I just said that I'm doing okay, and then I immediately don't do okay. <laughs> I missed the jump. Oh. Uh, we're keeping it. We're keeping it. I missed the jump there, and that's just... Oh, uh, that one hurts. It's okay. It's okay. We'll, uh, we'll do another run. So this one's probably going to find Kakiri Forest, because um, it'll find this screen. It searches for my profile picture, and then it finds the uh, map name right there. So, works out pretty well. We'll do another Kakiri Forest, so why not? 
One one interesting thing is Bio Biotics Lab. The OCR finds it as Biotics Lalo. <laughs> so I have I have an image bioticslalo.jpg for the uh, for the Biotics Lab background. Just the nature of the OCR. I'm sure I could train it to to find Biotics Lab instead of Biotics Lalo, but I mean, honestly, I'm not bothered by it. I can just make it Biotics Lalo. You know, it's funny to me anyway. I'm into it. So what else happened this week? Not much, honestly. Not a whole lot happened this week. I didn't have any exterminators come in. Nothing, nothing too interesting. Nothing too interesting. I went to my uh, my grandparents' house earlier this week, which is it was the first time I went there actually since they've uh, they've committed to moving. And man, that place is empty. So I had heard stories of it before. You know, I'd heard stories. Tales of uh, tales of yore, you know, um, of when of these uh, of their their house being rather empty, but I had not seen it myself. So to to have gone and seen the the just complete emptiness that uh, their house was was I, I'm not even sure what the the right emotion would be for it because on one hand it's going to be better for them, right? Because honestly, I don't know if it will be because. The best option would probably be them just staying there until they die and have somebody come in and like live with them. But this is what they want to do, so getting it over with is going to be an improvement to their life, right? Um, so on one hand, it's it's good because it's going to be good for them to to finally have this stress gone. But on the other hand, it was kind of it really drove home the point that it's happening, you know. So I got uh, they had like uh, these tables lined up with all the fine china and whatnot. Just uh, all the stuff that they're not going to be taking with them to the new place. And they're like, yeah, take whatever you want, right? And uh, so I got uh, I got a nice little set of dishes. Which, I don't know, to me, people always talk about this kind of stuff, right? When, uh, you know, when I die, you're going to get all my stuff. And I'm like, I just, <laughs> I don't really care about your stuff. Like, at all. I just, to me, I don't, I don't have that much, like, sentimental value about... Things, they just, they don't matter to me that much. So I took something, so I was like, I don't know. They'll probably feel bad if I don't take something, <laughs> right? They'll, 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 if I don't, if they don't see me taking something, and I'm not like, oh yeah, this will be great for me, and blah 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 blah, then they'll, they'll probably be like, oh, we have to find something for her. We have to, we have to find something she'll like, you know? I'm like I just, I really just don't care about about stuff. Why would I, right? It's just it's just plates and cutlery and stuff. People say, oh, well, it's my, my grandparents' plates. I, it, it, it's just plates. Well, it helps me remember them. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to forget my grandparents. Like, ever. They're, they're in my memory forever now. You know, since the, the first time I met them. It's not, not an easy thing to forget, you know? It's not like I need help remembering my grandparents. Um, goodness gracious. I don't really like being up here, but this is kind of where I've ended up. So I don't know. Took a couple of things just to just to make it feel good. The one thing I would like, they haven't got rid of it yet because um, like they still need it. <laughs> but is their uh, all their like um, furniture and stuff? Oh come on! I'm into that. I'm into furniture. Furniture is expensive, you know. You ain't you ain't getting that stuff for cheap. I can't go to the dollar store and buy like a table and chairs, <laughs> right? That ain't happening. Good luck with that. I can't go to the dollar store and buy like plates and knives and stuff. Anyway, that was that was pretty much the only thing that happened this week was I uh, was going to my grandparents' house and seeing it empty. Uh-huh. <laughs> was uh, was seeing my grandparents' place empty. That was that was all I did this week. And it was it was, a, it was an interesting experience because 
You know, they're moving. Obviously, their house is going to be empty. All the stuff is taken off the walls and whatnot. But really, really cemented it in that they're uh, they're moving. Other than that, it's just been it's just been a lot of RuneScape this week. I am working on, still working on it. I, it's just it's hard for me to, to figure out what I want of the RuneScape content. I think I've gone through so many iterations of, of content that I think I might like to do, and then I'm like, would I want to do this long term? The answer is generally no. You know, I, I do it for a bit, and it's fun. I do an episode or two of, of a progress series or something, and it's it's fun, but. Would I want to be doing this in a year from now? Would I want to be still doing this? Not really. So I think what I'm going to do is guides. Like PVM guides. Um, and whatnot. I think that I can do guides better than anybody else has ever done guides. I'm confident that I can do that. So I'm, I'm working on a guide right now. I'm not very good at the game. Is the other thing. So... In order for me to make a guide on something, I have to go watch other people's guides and then like practice the content and get good at it and understand it intimately and then I can make a guide and explain it to you. But I feel like I can make a guide because I watch all these other RuneScape guides. You know, how to kill Vindicta, how to kill Kriara, how to kill Krill and doing all these things and it's just, they're these like 15, 20 minute long videos and the fights are only a minute long. You know? It's like there's something there's something wrong here. It shouldn't it shouldn't take that long to, to explain how to kill a boss. So I'm feeling like I'm gonna make these these rather short videos on uh, on guides. So pretty much all of my RuneScape videos are gonna be probably like oops, I should not have healed there. Um, pretty much all of my RuneScape videos are probably gonna be like in the minutes long, right? As I uh I wanna kill you. You're the main problem. As I, um... Goodness gracious. As I try to just keep the time down and make simpler, easy to follow guides that uh, anybody can kind of just watch for a couple of moments and then be like, okay, yeah, no, I get it. it. It makes sense now, you know? That's my goal, anyway. How well that'll work out, I don't really know. I'm working on it, but... Condensing all that, because the thing is, is they make the guides so long because that's how long it takes to explain all the mechanics. But to me, I just I feel like there's there's got to be a better way to do it, right? There's got to be a better way. They have all these fancy graphics and stuff, and I'll probably have some fancy graphics, but... I feel like I can do a very short guide for a lot of the bosses that people have trouble with. And make it more easily digestible, right? Because that's that's what it is, really, in the RuneScape in the RuneScape scene. You got all these people making guides, but they're not easily digestible, right? Like, you can go and watch Mikeru or Brilli Meister or, or somebody, and you can go watch this 30-minute guide they have on how to kill Rax, and you're like, okay, so I have to go and watch this for 30 minutes, watch it, like, a couple of times back to make sure I remember everything. And it's just, it's daunting. Right off the gate, it's already... Just watching the video is already a daunting task, let alone killing the boss, you know? So, I, I feel like I can do better than that. So I'm working on that. First one's probably going to be a, a Vindicta tutorial, because I've been doing a lot of Vindicta recently, and I've gotten, honestly, quite good at the boss. I understand it pretty intimately. I just got to figure out the format for it, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's, it's a work in progress. I haven't really thought about Killing Floor 2 this past week at all, though. You know, every other week I've played it a little bit, or at least thought about it, right? Maybe not played it. I think there has been a week where I didn't play Killing Floor 2 at all. Um, but I thought about Killing Floor 2 that week. I was I was paying attention to the metric, the, the analytics, like a lot of attention to the analytics. And I still do pay attention to the analytics, but uh, I, would, I would obsess over them before, right? Now I don't so much. Now I can see the growth. I check it every couple of days. I'll go and check out my analytics. See what kind of stuff we got going on. It's good, you know? But, um... I'm not, I'm not obsessing over it anymore, right? I'm not thinking about uh, Killing Floor 2 at all. And that just, that just feels good. 
to a certain extent because it's it shows very clearly. Okay. Um, give me my health back, please, and thank you. Okay, I don't like this at all. I really just do not like this at all. This should go down. Knock me, please. Thank you. Don't like this at all. Let's see if I can knock you back and get a... Oh, I didn't have a nade! Shoot! Oh, I didn't, I didn't get a nade. My goodness, that was an intense moment there, you know? My goodness. Whoa. Let's just go ahead and get a little nade shot right there and another. No, we're going to have to reload for this one. Because I don't really want to waste the nades. Ah, shoot. This thing does some serious damage though, eh? Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was, uh, I was listening back to my videos. My commentary has been so much better recently. I got a sneeze coming. Hold up. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to sneeze, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on it. Okay. This might be, this might be a moment. <laughs> I don't know if sneeze is gone. You ever get, you know, you, obviously people get that. I'm not the only person who, like, has to sneeze. And, really? Oh, right, you were, like, screaming. Are you going to die to the gas? Yeah, you are. Get dusted. Decap you. I want to decap you with it, okay? I am, I am getting the decap with this nade. See ya. <laughs> I love getting the, the headshots with the nade. <laughs> you get the, you get the, I was talking about something, man. I was talking about something, and now I just can't even remember what it was. Yeah, my commentary's gotten so much better. I was watching my old video, the, not the old videos, but uh, last week's videos as I was uploading them. And, like, huge improvements over, like, the first episode that I had. Huge improvements. My fluidity, my... Being able to maintain like one thing is it's just it's it's so much better. Still some progress, still some work to do on it, but my ability to just talk to myself about random garbage that nobody really cares about. It's uh where are you? You're over there. It's definitely getting a lot better now, eh? Also when I was listening to myself, I occasionally, in my opinion, I have a, a really harsh, like Canadian accent at times when I'm when I'm listening to it, right? I don't know. People say I don't. I've sent them like clips of moments where I'm like, nah, this is totally like typical Canadian accent here, right? Um, they're like, well, not really. It sounds normal to me, but when I was watching it back, sometimes the, the, the Canadian just comes right out and uh, like right there with that out. That wasn't intentional. It just, that's what happened, right? So, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of kind of interesting to see. I've had this like log of my my voice and how I talk and my own personal idiolect. Please don't get stuck on the thing. I'm not a clot. Only clots are allowed to get stuck. Oh goodness, you're right behind me. I thought I had more space than that. I thought I had way more space than that. Okay, that's all of my nades, that's fine. The medic nades should also do okay-ish at taking care of the poops, I think. I just, I hate the abomination when I don't have high damage output, right? Because he just, he kind of stinks. If you don't, if you can't get rid of him real quick, he's, uh, he really gets you. It's, uh, it's kind of, kind of a bad boss. I, I used to think that he was very easy, like, always. But, like, right now, I just, I cannot not take damage to him. I just, I can't avoid the damage, you know? Like, I can't get away from it. I can, I can try to heal, right? But there's a limit to how far healing goes, so, um, I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's a bit tricky to take him out sometimes, right? That's all. 
If I have higher damage output, then it, it's no problem at all. But when I have this this low damage commando and I'm low speed, I can't kite him around endlessly. It's just it's it's really quite bad. But it seems like it's going not great, but towards a win at least, possibly. Possibly. I mean, another burst like that should get him right. So I think we've I think we've got it. Yeah, we do. Look at that. Look at that. Abomination on Commando is not a very easy fight, though. I uh. Gotta admit, it's, it's a bit of a harder fight. I'm gonna do some Gunslinger next time, because I haven't played Gunslinger in a week! I haven't played in a week! So I want to get into the habit of showing all of these things. Like all this, and then all the personal bests. See if we got any new personal bests, which we're not really, because I mostly get these on Endless. Actually, I pretty, I'm pretty sure all of those run Endless. I want to show this stuff, and then the player stats, and the Zed kills. People like it, maybe, I don't know. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.